Well, Reese, today we are looking at BitVision on our mobile phones. So a lot of customers asking how we set up BitVision. Yep. And we have a new model, a new version of BitVision app came out. Yep, absolutely. That's been where a lot of the queries have come in because now, since it's changed, everyone's been trying to figure out what the heck they do on the new version. <laughs> <laughs> and especially manufacturers have moved or they actually replaced the old version. They didn't launch a new version, version. alongside. Yeah. So people are forced to um, upgrade, upgrade up to the new version, which is not bad. I mean, because uh, we don't need a lot of legacy. Uh, the manufacturer have done a legacy app called the Free IP before, yes. which people can use that. Also, they have to jump to the new version if they wish to. So I think by direct replacement, you force you know the old app to die out straight away. So it's cool. So what I've got here is um, the iPhone. Uh, and I haven't got the BitVision installed on my phone. So I'm going to start downloading BitVision by going to the App Store and search BitVision. One and thing to clarify, actually, for people on iPhones, isn't there a BitVision HD version as well? Mm -hmm. So you've got to clarify which one to go for. You go for the BitVision without HD in its title mm -hmm. for the average phone user. Yeah. And BitVision HD, they have very different user interface. That's for iPad only. And personally, I prefer BitVision. Uh, I think they have put dramatic resourcing to BitVision to make it uh, more reliable, more up to date. Yes, but also don't forget, um, I remember you telling me about this. Uh, BitVision HD cannot do a consistent stream of the mm -hmm. cameras. Yeah. At a certain point, it has to cut out in order to resolve, uh, save on bandwidth. Yes. Uh, so for BitVision HD, they are just for temporary access. If you want to check your property or you want to basically have a quick uh, playback uh, on a certain, certain timeline. But if you want to use as a 24-7 display to see what's going on around your property, this is not feasible. Um, it's more like running a uh, YouTube video all day long and all, if you have four ca four cameras you have to run in like four YouTube video all day long which is not feasible for iPad to uh, to do so yeah bear that in mind we got this BitVision okay I've got this BitVision uh, downloading I forgot to press the download button okay there you go that's pretty quick so now I download it. You just need to accept everything, okay everything, um, agreeing everything. Uh, I will go for allow while using app because you do need it. Um, there you go. Fail to connect to cloud server. Great. Okay, so I'm basically doing from zero to hundred, A to Z to see what kind of problem we'll experience uh, throughout the installation. So first of all, I need to uh, log in. So we have our office login uh, already. Yes, but if you're a new user to BitVision, do not forget you can use either, if you're on an Android phone like me, you can use your Google login. If you're on an Apple phone like Reeves, you can use an Apple ID. Mm -hmm. So you don't just have to create an account through the actual BitVision services. Mm -hmm. You are able to link one of your accounts. I think that's probably easier to manage because if you have a BitVision and you sign up, you have to remember another password. Yeah. And quite a few customer came back saying, I've I can't forgot. remember your pass password. Remember so. my password. And there's not a lot we can do due to the um, regu regulations. We can't access their account. So all they can do is trying to reset it. And it's going to, some email may go to the spam, which is not a good feeling. Yes, I have had like, issues with customers trying to set up the account. But sometimes it can take a little bit of time for the actual messy email to come through with the verification code. And then it kind of expires because it's mm. only for how long? 10 minutes or so? Yeah, very short. Yeah. yeah. So if you miss it, you have to then request another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got this BitVision installed uh, and I have login with Doma CCTV. So just to clarify, if you have linked one of your recorder or camera to one of the account, you cannot then link to another account. So let's say you uh, register a BitVision account and your wife have another BitVision account. 
you you cannot link you cannot bun you you cannot link one device you cannot link one device to both account you can however sort of share an account but it doesn't have the full functionality so one solution would be if you just use for your own house security you, you, you could share the account you can log in both phones you can log in to multiple multiple phones yes so that and there, there is another important reason why you may want to consider that if you're say in a couple or something like that because the way to actually share an mvr mm. between multiple accounts would be to make it a sharing device mm. but if that's the case and you do that only one customer can see the notifications that come through the mvr mm -hmm. that means that if one person is more likely to keep track of it than the other they need to be the one to add the mvr but if you share the account by just logging in mm. you both get the notifications sent to you that's right because i think the fundamental reason is every notification uh, to those insiders uh, who want to know more. I think each of the notifications, the server need to, the, the server provider will charge the fee yes. uh, to send out notification. And those fees are not cheap. As the manufacturer providing the service for free, uh, they, uh, they only allow one device to have the notification. Yes. Uh, that's something sure to bear that. in mind this is a very robust service but there is no fee attached to it so mm. there are certain limitations that you have to take in mind when you're going into this mm -hmm. that's right i want to showcase one of our cam uh, office cameras but i already bound this so i have to show you how to unbind this um device S so for this one to unbind we need to go to the device choose the device and delete it so delete the device will unbind the device at the same time there you go this device is uh, gone so now we have this device so i i'm gonna put up on the tv now um yeah so the one thing to understand when it comes to adding a device to bitvision is there's two steps that need to be done beforehand you need to ensure that you have an internet connection which you know it seems like a very simple step but some people do just tend to forget it requires an ethernet connection mm. But then importantly, you need to go to P2P on the MVR itself and then tick it and you need make to sure make it's sh online. Yes. You need, to, you need to make sure this is ticked and this is online. So if it's not online, something is wrong, something is wrong, you have to sort of... Um, Probably an figure. IP configuration setting just needs yeah. a bit of tweaking. So if you have offline, the first thing to check is if that is ticked. If it's ticked and still offline, you restart the MVR. If it's still not working, you need to go to the network section and you need to make sure this enable DHCP is ticked. You have to tick this and restart the recorder and then eventually this will, this will be online. So just make sure. And okay, now, so I want to add another device. You need to make sure you use S and add from here. So there are multiple options. You need to use S and add. So you allow the vision to use the camera Yes. In fact, actually, I can actually explain what exactly happens if you don't use SN Add. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you don't receive notifications for any kind of emotion events. Mm, okay. Me and Simon had experienced that. We were looking for a customer's um, setup, mm -hmm. couldn't find out why he wasn't getting notifications. Then I did an SN Add and they all came through. I see. Okay, so I'm going to scan this one. So you need to scan the QR code that is on the right with the numbers underneath it. Yeah. The Android slash iOS is just simply to lead you to the Bitvision app on the App Store. Uh -huh. And uh, after the SN uh, code, you need to enter the device name. You can just put anything. We'll call Doma Tutorial. Tutorial. And admin is the default pa uh, username. And default password is 12345. Unless you changed it. Yes, if it is changed, it needs to be what the new app password for your MVR is. Mm -hmm. So now that the fifth one is quite important because that is the verification on the label. For the camera or for the recorder, they have a stick label on the body. Uh, recorder is on the bottom of the, the, the recorder and camera is normally on the back of the camera. Uh, and you need to sort of enter that into it. Yes, so. but also bear in mind, while it says on the app, it's called the verification code, on the sticker itself for the MVR, it is called the capture code. 
So just to avoid any type of confusion, Michael. I don't know who Michael is. I'm just saying it towards them directly. <laughs> okay, so I took a picture with my phone. Uh, when Simon is doing it, he's probably going to do a sh sort of actual camera shots to show where that code is. So now our capture code, which you wouldn't know, uh, is... Okay, now I've app, uh, entered all the capture code. I just add device. It will say, oh, verification error. Uh, so just, if you have this, you basically need to check, first of all, the capture code. Yes, please bear in mind the capture code has to be case, sen case sensitive. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be all capitals, just like it is on the sticker. See, I entered two, uh, I entered the capture code wrong. That's why it's wrong. So now you've, you've entered this capture code. You go into, you need to go into a real time. The easiest way is go, press the top right corner and select the device you just added. It will be tutorial, Doma tutorial here. So you have all this um, entered. So I will channel one on channel two, then you just confirm. So those are the camera currently connected to the recorder. Um, however, if you want to just add if you have loads of cameras you have you would like to add one by one you could basically just press this button in the in the middle of the square yes there's a plus uh, plus icon then you select which uh, camera you want to add to that particular square so now i want to just add this camera you add that particular square so you can disconnect and you can reconnect by press the bottom uh, right corner um, button. And if you would like to play back, you press play back. And then you have to reselect which camera you want to show up on that playback. So now I want to show this camera. You will see this green bar showing on the bottom of the uh, screen. and and you will show the playback. Very important thing to note though, you must ensure for your iPhones that you are on 24 hour time. Mm -hmm. If you are not, you will only receive one hour of your playbacks. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, e, uh, th that is a manufacturing uh, m sort of, I would say a bug in the system. I know after 2022 November, they will fix this bug with a new version. So for now, we just need to bear in mind this is still exists uh, if you have the same error um, like some of our customers who set up 12 hour time format. Yes. So that's how you set up the BitVision. So just be bear in mind if you connected a lot of them, you edit every single home screen like I do. Uh, and obviously sometimes you only have, uh, sorry, if I go into real time, I added like millions of devices, millions of channels, and you have all this going on, and then you don't know how to remove all that uh, little squares. You need to go to your, press your username. Inside there, you have a general setting. You can clear player cache, because I had a little struggle. Because I got a lot of camera, I don't want sh them show up all the time. I want to rearrange them. But then every time I add another camera, you add another column, which is annoying. So once I delete this by click on clear player cache, it's all good. So now if I go into real time, it's all cleared. And I can comfortably re-add the uh, camera as I wish. So this is a quick, uh, long-winded uh, tutorial uh, on how to set up uh, BitVision on your iPhone. Um, I don't think I got a lot. Actually, one more thing. If you're in real time and you have, you select a particular channel, you want to see the playback, you can literally just press the playback on the bottom left corner. Then you will jump in, it will jump straight into the playback for that channel and you can see the footages. Actually, there is also one other thing to discuss. Uh, if your camera is PTZ compliant, you are able to control the PTZ through the camp through the BitVision app. Mm 
if you see in the bottom there is an option called PTZ. PTZ. Mm -hmm. If you do that, then it gives you a little menu where you can tilt the camera around, do a bit of a zoom in. Mm -hmm. So you are able to control your PTZ cameras through BitVision if you are worried about that. Actually, since you're adding bits and bobs, I'd like to add one more thing. If you want to, oh, actually, they added the sound option here because previous bit vision you have to twist it this way yes i saw that actually yes and uh you know it's not convenient enough now it's, it's cool okay so would you like to have a quick um go through with android one on your phone so i need to log in myself this time instead of creating an account i'm going to actually use my google login so go now device manage the plus in the bottom right and then you click sn add so i'm going to go over here scan that code i'm just going to call it cctv kind of like how a usual person would call it mm -hmm. or home or something like that yeah you just slap everything you don't need to call it something very complex just something you know just so you can differentiate it if you ever intend to add multiple mvrs mm -hmm. then the capture code that add device and there we go so now we'll go over to real time click this in the top right That is not the right one. Where is the second one? There it is. And we're just going to tick both of those. Tick that one and confirm. So there we go. Both cameras are now showing up on my BitVision app. Yeah, that's just how you add it on the Android app as opposed to the iPhone one. Quick and easy. Yep.